Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Puneet Tuteja and I am the customer success architect for data governance and data quality with Informatica. If you are uh, using Informatica data management cloud, uh, data integration or MDM services so far, but uh, never got a chance to experience uh, IDMC's uh, governance, uh, CDGC service and clear GPT, which is our uh, generative AI data management tool that helps users manage uh, data through natural language interface. Here is a quick experience to test drive clear GPT in your uh, own org. So in order to utilize this self-driven demo in your uh, own org, please uh, work with your IDMC administrators to provision data governance and catalog and clear GPT applications if not provisioned already. So uh, this is something the administrators will see uh, if the CDGC and the clear GPT has not been provisioned. So they need to provision for the uh, first time. And once provisioned, uh, they would be uh, ready to use. So uh, now, uh, we will be using three services for setting up this demo or utilizing this demo. So one would be data governance and catalog. Next is going to be metadata command center. And finally, it's going to be the clear GPT. That is our ultimate goal for this demo. So getting to the demo, uh, you will be provided a zip file that would contain all these files. So as a part of uh, this demo, uh, you unzip the CGPT bundle that you have received. Bundle contains the run book that explains uh, these steps along with all the necessary screenshots and details along with some of the uh, sample GPT queries that you can execute and uh, you can finally delete the setup as well as uh, required. Uh, now I would covering the steps briefly as part of this uh, quick uh, video. So uh, first the zip file contains the uh, this uh, CGPT uh, based directory shell script. So uh, SFTP this script file onto your Linux ho uh, host on some of the suitable path. So once you execute the script, it will ask you to provide the setup path or the installation path. So uh, one, uh, provide the path where you want to create a directory structure and this script is going to create a directory structure for you. So once the st directory structures are created, there are there is a set of six CSV files that you can see here. So uh, it's uh, based on, so check on the runbook and you need to copy or SFTP these CSV files in the required uh, directories that will be created as part of the uh, script that you executed. So now uh, once this is done, uh, the next step is we want to go to the uh, metadata command center. So now once we are in the metadata command center, we need to create uh, the uh, catalog source of file system type. So this is how like we can do that. Uh, yeah and uh, 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 just hit create and uh, follow the steps. So uh, complete the setup and execute the scanner. So once this is done, this would bring in all the metadata of uh, flat files placed uh, on like in the Linux host that we placed into the CDGC. So how we can verify this? So in order to verify this, we can go back to the CDGC and go to the browse go to the data catalog and under that you will see the file system created. So this was the path at which I created like file system path was slash OPD slash GPT under that the folder structure is there. So the CSV files are created over there. So this is how you can verify the uh, directories created. You can open any of them. Like here you can check the flat file uh, over your pages there. So this is how we can verify that the uh, scan has been completed. So, uh, uh, now, uh, the next part or the important part here is that go uh, to the folder or the path that you have provided in the script, uh, like uh, during the install, uh, the install path that you provided. So go to that directory here in my script, I provided slash OPT. So I'm going to the OPT, go to the attributes and take a note of this reference ID, which is the most important part. And we would be utilizing that in our uh, later setup. So take a note of this. And now uh, once this is completed, 
the bundle contains a file as links.csv. Open the links.csv file. So take a, uh, like, you, uh, uh, you need to replace the new path that we just copied to this path uh, uh, in this file and make sure that you don't make any changes post CGBT. So the change has to happen before this CGBT path only. So once this is done, you need to go to you need uh, to go to the, uh, back to the metadata command center. Here you need to create a custom catalog source, and uh, yeah, so we will create a custom catalog source. And once uh, follow the steps as per the runbook. And once uh, the uh, uh, like uh, steps are completed, uh, it will. Uh, so basically, once you create the custom catalog source, you would need need to attach the links.csv file in a zip format and uh, execute the scanner. So once the scanner is executed, it would help you to generate the lineage. So now, in order to validate that lineage, we can go back to the CDGC like I was uh, browsing this particular flat file, I, I can go to the lineage tab. And here I can see the lineage is available, which uh, is something to validate that my uh, custom uh, lineage or the links.csv file has worked fine. Now, uh, once this is done, uh, next step is to download the out of box data classifications. So in order to, to do that, what we can do is we can go to the metadata command center, go to the uh, explore under explore you can select the data classifications and on the top you have the import predefined content uh, download uh, click here and it will download all the out of the box data classifications available so once this is done the next step is that we want to create all the business assets or we want to import all the business assets or the governance assets into the cdgc so in order to do that there is a file available in the bundle, which is called as the business assets import file. So you can see there are different tabs available, like the domain, subdomain, business term, and so on, along with the relationships. So this tab is already populated. There is no change required to this file. So you, in order to import this file, you can go to your CDGC. You can go to CDGC, click new, import assets, import assets, import, import file, and provide the file and complete the import process. So once the uh, import is uh, completed, all the business assets would be available in the CDGC. So in order to validate that, you can uh, go to any of the tabs, like you can see the glossaries are available over there. Then you can go to the process, policy, business area, geography, so all these tabs are populated which are our, uh, our business assets and along with that uh, like you can go and you can check for the relationships like if you go here we can see that some of the relationships uh, uh, available over here similarly if i go to any of my uh, business assets uh, like uh, let's take i go to any other geography you can see the business uh, this particular geography is located to with the business area the policy so that's how the relationships has been uh, uh, created as well once this is done, the next step is that there is a file called as technical asset import file. We need to open that file. And similar to the step that we did earlier in the links.csv file where we replaced this path, we need to do the same replacement in this file for this technical data element tab, as well as the same thing needs to be done for the data quality rule occurrence tab as well. Once this is done, there is one additional step. There is one more tab called as the core origin. So core origin is basically the reference ID of the catalog source. So essentially, if you remember in the previous path, we copied the complete path till here. So now this path is just this reference ID here, this much. Right, so copy. Uh, so, uh, so you already have this uh, value uh, uh, copied before. Just take this value, and we need to replace this value in this tab. So, once this is done, save this file, and then once this is saved, we need to follow the same import process that we did, and import this technical file 
as well once this import is complete uh, we can validate it by going to uh, the file and we can go to the contains tab and we can see the glossy association is there the classifications is there and there was if you uh, recall there was a tab as a data quality rule occurrence which we used to populate the data quality score so if we go to the data quality tab we can see the data quality score populated as well which make uh, with which uh, we are sure that the technical asset file completed as well and definitely we can go to the logs and validate which has been uh, explained in detail in the uh, run book so this concludes the setup and uh, we are now ready to execute the queries on the clear gpt for which we will now go to the clear gpt app so this is i'm on my clear gpt app so uh, as, as uh, shown in the run book uh, there are uh, like the steps has been distributed in three parts where first is for the help or the informatica help uh, next is the uh, you know the metadata ex uh, uh, exploration, and the, sorry, uh, the next is the uh, discovery, and followed by the metadata exploration. So, in order uh, for the metadata exploration to be done, data discovery needs to be done first. So, uh, once done, you would be able to see asset names showing up uh, once we populate the at the rate symbol. So, uh, this is something how we can uh, use the at the at the rate symbol post uh, the discovery. So, like show me lineage of and use at the rate symbol once you use at the rate symbol you will see the files and uh, file name populating and i have selected that and once i execute this it will show you the results so this is about the setup and uh, you know how you can test around the queries now uh, once you have uh, you know uh, test uh, gone through the experience uh, you may delete this uh, setup uh, uh, or this uh, demo. So the detailed steps for the cleanup are available in the demo runbook at the end. Uh, if you have any concerns related to this setup of uh, clear GPT queries or uh, you know any setup uh, needed help, uh, please feel to reach out to your account's uh, customer success manager, and uh, uh, you know they would be able to engage customer success architect from my team for any further assistance uh, where we can help you. So uh, thanks for uh, watching this video and uh, have a great day ahead.